Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, just a heads up. Uh, the audio may sound a little different for this recording than it does for any other recording I've recorded audio for, at least for my microphone audio. And I never skimmed the microphone with the best when doing recordings and whatnot. The reason why the audio may sound a little different for this recording my sound a little echoey, especially for my microphone side of things. That is because I am recording this in my bathroom. And it's a very kind of a small bathroom. Uh, so, and obviously I'm not going to furnish a bathroom, so not really much materials to try to capture sound and whatnot. Don't worry, as you probably hear louder, I'm walking while I record this. I hear my footsteps on the ground. Not only that, but recently this bathroom was used for showering, so there's also moisture, slight level of moisture in the air, so that can also could have some level of effect on the microphone quality and whatnot. There's a lot of explanation here. And yeah, I'll admit, the, the point in which I'm recording this is the day it was meant to be uploaded. And just a heads up, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm not going to an actual day video because it doesn't really need an update video for one thing. But I've decided that if I ever have a reason that I cannot record on a day that requires me to upload the following day. I won't say I'd record the day I was meant to upload, or at least try to. Okay. I'll try to get two recordings or more, depending on how many days one it was record for. I'll try to record for multiple days. That way I'm gonna try to get both of these with videos when they can. Because the thing is I don't always have the ability to record especially when people are waking up. The thing about me is I'm kind of the caretaker from the house I live at. The sad part is I live with my parents. I live with my parents and two younger siblings. See, originally my plan for when I, you know, I was planning on coming back to the YouTube channel, I was planning on coming back day one when school started. That way, I could potentially record when my mom and or dad would be sleeping. I mean, most likely it'd just be and, but voice the stands, okay? I'd be able to record when my mom and dad were sleeping, and in the morning, and then still, you know, just re record, upload the next day. You know, I could keep a better stay up schedule. So I wouldn't have just to have to wait on nighttime to record. As you guys have seen, since I've gotten back, <sighs> yeah, yeah, I've been getting tired a lot more recently. And when recording, at, I'm trying to focus on recording at night. I, I have to one, wait for people to go to sleep, and two, not be one of the people going to sleep. I have to stay up. Not just for after everyone has gone to bed, but long enough after everyone has gone to bed to set up my recording setup with. We sort of just open and close, and I have to get the little like icon here that's open up on the left to show up. Make sure it's adjusted and whatnot, and then open the game. Hit the record button, just record. And remember, I can record about like 20 to 30 minutes or whatnot. Okay. Oh yeah. But like, so I gotta say up 20 to 20 to 30 minutes past any amount of intention. Which just a heads up, my sister, she's kinda like me. The thing is though, she's not to the same extent that I am. The way I found it. And so she's not really let's see the thing about me and my sister, we are part of a section of humans that seem to be a little more active at night. 
So the thing about uh, like human, that's still like human, maybe you say human, but it's kind of a quotation mark, because not about my sister, but about me specifically. I Me, mean, I found the baby to be human. And no, I'm not one of those people who think that they're a fucking animal of some kind. No, no. I, the only animal I am is party animal. <laughs> For the point I'm trying to make is, I debate where my humanity and whatnot. Not from a moral standpoint. I have some pretty human morals and whatnot. Fun fact about me. Again, I'm here to the porn channel. I'm a chaotic good, a chaotic neutral, but a lawful evil. Okay. That means I'll do good shit, I'll do neutral shit. It's just gonna be really random, do really random patterns, whatnot. But if I'm doing a quote unquote evil deed, I have go, I have guidelines. I have a strict code of ethics. For instance, one, if I ever had to murder someone, 100%, I am not using a kitchen knife. Hell no, especially not one of mine. It's not even as I said, well, oh yeah. You know, it's, uh, kind of, it's just too cliche. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna stab someone with the same utensil I use to slice potatoes. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying I use my steak knife to cut potatoes, but I mean, then again, I gotta use all my knives. I've used like, every single knife in our kitchen at some point to cut a potato. You know what I mean? I'm not using, I'm not using my vegetable things I use to cut vegetables to cut people. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna use the same blade I use to cut vegetables to turn someone into a vegetable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't even heard of you. I have like, well, fun fact about my device I'm using to record this. You don't know, it's just randomly, I'm not even gonna really notice it. The screen's just gonna fucking rotate. And we're gonna get extra close to the ninja. I'm honestly wondering what this ninja's design is based on. You know? Because I don't think I've like seen any form of like ninja esque character with the same kind of design, okay? Hold on, I'm actually gonna reveal the purpose this time. Just we need to get a better picture and point out more details in. Oh, of course, now I wanna do it. Yeah, cause see, I wanna zoom in. Like, yeah. Those guys was just black and orange, you know? With red eyes and some form of like, I guess, claw lens or something? I don't really know. Okay, well, switch it back to this. Sad part is, I don't even have my auto rotate on. It's just, it's like, it's like, yeah, there's auto rotate right there in the max brightness setting. You know, like, there's a normal Wi Fi. You can see that. Yeah, but bro, I don't even have the fucking auto rotate on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we're gonna. Hey, we're the ones. We're the ones in the boy. Yeah. So let's try to. So we heal. Wham. I mean, I Oh, God. Honestly, that part is I can't really just flee this fight. Because then I just need to fucking redo that one all over again. Like in the previous recording session. Also, you are notice the microphone's just gonna go like, or whatever case me. That's because I tend to like, instinctively put both my hands on the device when using it. And the microphone on this, if I remember correctly, is like specifically on like the side where my hand is actually on. Most cases, so like, so like when each movement I make and whatnot, I like I like grab my my other hand and whatnot, and like no and like it's like. Likely the pressure of like, you know, my hand and whatnot just around. I don't need to go from like, just having my right hand off, off or, or on, to see you're using my like, pointer finger or my thumb. You know, it's just like, all the movements of the microphone near my hand and whatnot. Yeah, it's going to be 
create a lot of like static esque. So you the fact that like oh. ah. and now I'm holding this one hand and just using my hand to like hold it the back of it. You know, like imagine like holding a burger. You know. But like way wider. And my wife's being like taller. The fact that like, the microphone on the phone is like on one end and speakers on the other. So like because of the fact that part of the game audio is coming from the speaker audio and whatnot, it's either I have my hand inside with the microphone and then, you know, I have to deal with the staticky sound and whatnot. Or I put my hand right there. I didn't even put it right there. See what I can do again. I rotate it with the same hand on it and it didn't just turn around right there. So, but yeah, I just realized one of the, the barbarian passes gives it like a huge amount of regeneration and whatnot. So, bros already brings back the full health. One thing I hate about, you know, like, and I hate about certain enemies in games like these, a lot of them have that one type of enemy that just has some form of like maxing out, or at least nearly maxing out. Their evasion or not in some way. Because like evasion isn't really something that just, you know, like it's an actual like kept stat on like your what you know, these characters? Yeah. They have attack, threat, health, initiative, magic, and critical. You know, like none of that involves any sort of evading attacks. We shouldn't get that we just need to fucking like regen our health like severely. Probably would help if I, you know, in boss my experience potions or you know actually use some items in battle and whatnot. Because when I remember the rules of this challenge, does anyone remember those challenge other than me? I mean, I remember the rules of this because I'm the one who made them up. Because <laughs> remember, okay, this challenge is called without active abilities, not passive abilities only. You know? Meaning, which, and it was actually because of the rule set why I named it without active, the name challenge without active abilities and not passive abilities only. Okay. So that was going to be my original name for this challenge. But then I figured, well, then I'd have people commenting on the fact that, oh, you're using items in battles, oh, damn you, you're cheating. Like, like, damn, bro, you really, like, did you not read the damn rules? You still be the name, let that be that. Like, like, I mean, yeah, I know, I don't really go to rules in every episode, but in my defense, I didn't really talk in every episode. Okay. Matter of fact, I don't even like having like, text on the screen like most YouTubers do. I don't know how to do that shit. Okay. Not only that, but I never actually talk to my viewers and, you know, force them to read you know, what I guess I want to say to them. Not only that, but I tend to type how I talk. And I'd also tend to write how I talk, but also like even more so. Oh man, I talk fast and sloppily. My handwriting is also jumbled together and sloppily. You know? But at the same time though, I had this way of talking with a certain cadence. Some frequency, some tone, depending on my mood. And it tends to come out like when I'm writing stuff and whatnot. You know, I'm not writing something that's like standardized, like the titles for these videos and the descriptions I'll put in and whatnot. And then, likely, I'm gonna have a way of saying it, you know. And we recently have been getting in the habit of using more and more emoticons and whatnot. I refuse to use emojis in literally anything. I mean, do that here. You know. Bro, I won't even like to call something like quote unquote fire or anything like that if I see a song. I say it's good, I say it's great, I say it's fan fucking tastic. But fire, nah. Nah, fire is destructive. Fire, according to, I believe, I agree with Plot, with Plankton, okay? I believe, with, I agree with Sheldon, Plankton, Sheldon, well, Sheldon, Plankton, 
I forget, I forget like, the plank's whole name. It's like, I think it's like Sheldon something plank. Though. I don't know. I'm playing some something Sheldon. I don't fucking remember, man. You know how long we've been since I watched SpongeBob? I mean, of course you don't. It's not like any y'all know me. First one. I'm there right now. Okay, so you might see me stop talking hear some like grinding noise or whatever. That is me itching. And skin bites on my hands. Here's my teeth. Yeah, like that because I only have access to about one hand. And if I do that, I want you to use the whole my phone. And fun about me, I got that mos- that blood type that mosquitoes really love. And not only that, but I also tend not to go outside very much. So not only yeah, am I a delicacy to mosquitoes, but I'm a rare delicacy to mosquitoes. Which makes them want me even more. Which is also one of the many reasons why I tend to wear winter pajamas in the summer and not just in winter. You know. Well, that is because my parents send the fucking blast that they may see in the summer. I mean, I'll admit right now I'm wearing short sleeves. Yeah, Either shorts. I also barely went outside that much today since I put on the shorts. And I've had this short sleeve shirt on for a long time. Hey, it's a pretty good shirt. Okay. I. They banned the shirt and I really like the band, okay? I also really like the album cover that the shirt that I was based on and whatnot. Okay. It's a very scientific theme for the wheel. Not exactly what the genre's called it, but the music they they do. The band in question, if anyone wants to, you know, educate the other people in the comments section. Me personally, I'm not even going to open this video once it's uploaded to YouTube. Comment section, I don't really check the comment section. Look, I see my videos get no views and I think like, well, if they got no views, why the hell would they even have comments? You know what I'm saying? Like, how the hell would they even get comments if they don't have views? You know? I mean, I'm not even one of my viewers in the so, Fun fact, one of the subscriptions to my channel is a personal account of mine. That I only have the subscription just to let me know when it's done uploading. Like, literally. That's the only reason why my personal account is subscribed to my channel. Other than that, you can check my channel right now. There are many videos with no views at all. Okay. So obviously, if they got no views, then that no one's zooming, not even me. Okay, just me use my personal channel to Google view my channel. That would essentially require, you know, I would basically show that my channel be getting the views. And if you went through our entire channel right now, through every single playlist, every single playlist, you will see them several videos with no views at all. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, and fun fact, something I actually learned from my personal account and watching other YouTubers or whatnot. It turns out that when you watch someone on YouTube, you must all the things that YouTube updates about the channel, which you have to be subscriptions or liking the video on all the numbers and how they like no change over. And when it comes to the like the views of a channel or not. Apparently the views, like whether or not you put a viewed an actual video on YouTube compared to like whether or not it shows up in your history or not, is actually different. You know? It's actually different like subs, circumstances or not. For instance, showing up in your history just requires you don't really have to play about like a, not even a full second, it's a half second. If actual footage from the video shows up on on the screen of whatever device you're watching on, 
Boom. And it's now in your history. Unless you believe it from your history. You know? But the sad part is this means if like you like open a video and an ad you open a video and an ad shows up. Then if you want that video to be in history, you have to wait for the ad to finish. If not, then depending on how you found the video, you might never find it ever again. Okay, now we just search a little spam this shit. So I'm trying to do it. Where's my spam until he dies or he dies? I didn't find it. I didn't get out. I didn't hit the damn ball. It's not like this game for me, you know, it's really kind of like they're gonna move on. Is it the fucking like auto rotate shit? Right, I'll show you guys. Here, I'll do it again. Look, auto rotate up there, top right, auto rotate. Not on. Okay. And for some reason, you even move this device a little, too bit. a little bit too much. And, and it's just fucking like a whole damn camera screen just rotating some. There it was. Okay. I, it's how I fucking correct it. And it literally just goes the exact opposite direction. And there is the reason why I try to record this specifically in like landscape mode, not portrait mode, is so you all can see all the little intricate details like made with these sorts of maps. So here, I'm gonna put it in portrait mode real quick, just so you guys can see it, okay? How am I just like, sure, sure, sure. Okay, oh, I'm seeing it. See, here's what I'm talking about. I actually try to get in portrait mode and it takes like three to five seconds to actually go there. Yet when I'm not trying, it does it near instantly. So you technology don't like me for some reason, which is weird. I do like technology when we know this. Yeah, but you see, there's nothing really to point out for like, things like references and whatnot as part of the background. Now watch, I'm gonna switch it back to landscape mode and I'm gonna sh there's how many you can Okay. First of all, on the left and right. Now we've opened up to go on those like two inner pillars. Oh, man, I don't know. Look to the left, right under the right bottom right corner of the shot button. And a quick almost near equally as the other distance from the gold coin icon. But this time it's up on right and on left. You know, so it's two statues. Okay, holding round objects. What does that remind you of? I'll tell you what it reminds me of. The statue was from Metroid games that would give shape, you miss, or savings or whatever, or items, you know, and give her power ups and whatnot. And so, yeah. And it's basically because of those little details. And the, in the background, which is just why I tend to play. That's why I tend to play in uh, landscape mode in this game. That's why I hate it when it, like, the slightest little movements just transition it to the final portrait. You know, I think we might actually win this, which is funny. I spent nearly the whole damn video just talking and doing this in one fight. That's the thing I'm gonna I have ADHD, okay? So, like, Oh man, I'm not the best when it comes to focus things on. And of course, we were so damn close that he just ends the kills to my guys. Cause that is the fucking story of my life. It's so close, just and so far. But in the end, it's all washed away. Ah, y'all probably thought I was gonna say it didn't even matter. <laughs> I don't even know, I, I like the good old bait and switch. Uh, don't worry, I understand that because I made a Lincoln Park reference. I'm pretty good, I'm, I'm actually a fan of Lincoln Park music, but I'm being honest. But in my opinion, if you don't like Lincoln Park music, you probably spend, you, you probably think, think that anyone does 
is like you're heavily emo or whatever. I'm gonna let you know right now, I am not emo. I'm not goth by any means. Okay. I just have like dark music and whatnot because, you know, why not? I like the jam out, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm a party animal. You know? But I also like partying on my own terms. I may seem like quite the extrovert, but I may seem quite introverted, okay? Here's the thing. People seem to think that introvert and extrovert are just like, you know, energy levels and how you react and distinguish. In reality, it's not that simple. Not all introverts are, you know, quiet, shutting types of people. And I'll admit, there are many times that I will 100% just shut myself in my room and just answer some quiet. Hey, the one time I ever like prayed to God and he answered, I asked for a fucking break. This one day where I wouldn't have to deal with everyone fucking screaming. It was years ago, okay? Yeah. It was the one time I got a prayer answered from God. Prayed to him and I just the next day the next day after the prayer. I get some peace and quiet. You know, not doing everyone made in the house, like screaming and whatnot. The thing is, though, this was back when I think I was still in elementary or middle school at the time. So, like, yeah, I was still young. Fun well, fact, I started school at an age when I was like one year younger than most other people. But at the same time, though, I got held back in first grade, and when I started school, I specifically started not in first grade, but in kindergarten. So not pre-K, not, not preschool, no, just strip kindergarten. So I went from one to 12, then I did one and twice, then I did preschool, I did kindergarten, I did kindergarten, I did first grade, eight through 12th, I was about in first grade twice, and then after, you know, completing 12th grade, and one of the classes that I did in 12th grade, and my last year, I decided to, this really required a two years of a separate good institution, I decided to go back there for a second year, good. After I got already got my high school diploma, went there from being an actual student, student to being an adult student. So because of that, I basically spent 15 years out of the 20 that I've lived this so far basically in school. And while I admit, yeah, I had these like weekends and breaks, you gotta realize I still went to school for a goddamn 15 out of 20. Years, okay. Yeah, oh man, okay. And the sad part is my birthday is during the summer, okay. Which means it's during summer break. Meaning that literally my, I was old enough to go to school before school was ready. I need to start. You know, it wasn't even just a, oh yeah, I turned on to a school in middle school year, so I've been doing this real extra year of bliss and whatnot. No, 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 I turned like uh, five and then like, barely, like literally the next month, I, I started school. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even really get like a full month after my fifth birthday before I, you know, had to start school. My birthday, literally in July. Literally. Okay. There we go. <sighs> okay, so this is going to be the show. You can see I hate this. Because we have to like interact with the damn like mission thing. Just like, oh yeah, this is just so you can hang. And then like, okay, why not just do it here? 
Okay. So like 100%, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call this right here, okay? I've been recording for too long. You know, I mean, I haven't made much progress. I'm pro Honestly, I haven't made any progress, but like, at the same time though, I've been recording for too long and I still get to record for the actual video that was meant to be recorded. God damn it, I'm recording software. I'm just gonna add the next video I'm recording for the, like, the other series. The series that's actually meant to be uploaded tomorrow. I'm just glad I'm not gonna have to deal with this like auto rotate bullshit. You know, I'm just glad there's something that's more unique than this game specifically. My God, this is mean to deal with. Well, that's gonna uh, also just a heads up, y'all. I've decided I'm gonna do something like okay? that. I'm decided I'm going to try to dictate one of these like two other state files either the day one like a file or maybe like, one day's file or the 326 day state file. I decided I'm gonna dictate one of them to generally just be like something that I'll play on in my free time to try to earn gold for us to actually go spend my YouTube channel. Having said, I will be spending gold on that save file occasionally. I mean, I'm definitely going to spend gold to make other characters and whatnot. But that being said, when I'm not playing this on YouTube, I'm going to play it a little bit in my spare time and I'm going to earn some gold for us to, you know, get better equipped. That way, we're not stuck on this black mage fight forever. Because you gotta think, we can't really use abilities. I mean, we don't really have access to things like damage over time. Or multi-hitting, or hitting multiple enemies at once. Meaning it's a lot harder to like win fights against multiple enemies. Because you have to target them, you only do one hit at a time, and all sorts of things like that. That's really what makes this challenge, you know, so challenging. But that's gonna be it for now. This is the Wise Organ signing off. Bye bye.